Hi guys, in this experiment, we are going to see about load test on single phase induction motor. The nameplate details are HP bar kilowatt is 1 bar 0.75 kilowatt, voltage 220 slash 230 volt, current 5 ampere, speed 1500 rpm. The apparatus required are voltmeter 0 to 300 volt, MI type quantity 1 and ammeter 0 to 10 ampere. MI type quantity 1 and then watt meter 300 volt 10 ampere UPF quantity 2. The circuit diagram for this experiment is this one. Here we give a single phase 230 volt AC supply. This one is a ammeter and volt meter and this one is the watt meter. Here we have a centrifugal switch. The procedure for this experiment is with the auto transformer starter in the minimum position the supply is switched on and the voltage is gradually increased to a rated voltage as the motor picks up speed. Under this no load condition one set of readings of the ammeter, voltmeter and wattmeter spring balance and the speed of the motor are noted down. Now the mechanical load in the motor is increased in steps such that the current drawn by the motor increases in 1 ampere. At each step of loading the entire meeting re meter readings are noted down. This procedure is continued until the current drawn by the motor equals 120 degree of rated value. The model graph for this experiment is this one. This one is the power, efficiency, torque in Newton meter, power factor, slip and then current. In X axis we have the NS that is synchronous speed and torque Newton meter in Y axis. The formula used in this experiment is torque is equal to 9.81 into radius of the drum into S1 difference S2 that is spring balance difference. PA is watt meter reading, P0 is equal to 2 pi n t by 60 and then power factor is equal to P0 by VL IL. Percentage efficiency is equal to P0 by PA into 100 and then percentage slip is equal to NS minus N by NS into 100. Here NS is synchronous speed. This one is a tabular column for this experiment. I am going to write the values for this experiment. I am writing the voltmeter value and then ammeter value. I am taking watt meter with the multiplying factor 4. So 60 into 4 is equal to 240 and then speed is 1500. First I am taking the reading under no load condition. So 0, 0. With this increase the load by increasing the S1, S2. I am reading and taking the corresponding readings. I have noted all the readings. Now I am going to calculate this S1 difference S2. For that I am taking my calculator. 0 difference 0 is 0 and then 1.6 minus sorry. 
1.6 minus 1 is 0.6 like this do for all the values for s1 s2 I'm going to calculate for this third value. First, I'm going to find the torque. Torque formula is this one. T is equal to 9.81 into R. R is radius of the drum. That is 0 0.1 into S1 difference S2. S1 difference S2 is 2.8 into 2.8 on calculating I get 2.74 Newton meter write the value 2.74 and then P0 P0 formula is P0 equal to 2 pi nt by 60 uh, 2 2 pi into n n is this value 1466 1, into t dot 2.74 2.74 by 60 i am getting a value 420.6 watt write the value 420.6 and then percentage percentage is percentage efficiency is p0 by pa p0 is 420.6 by p0 pi pi is 480 420.6 divided by 480 into 100 because I am calculating for percentage into I am getting 87.62 percentage 87.62 and then power factor power factor P0 that is 420.6 by VL IL 230 into 3 420.6 divided by 230 into 3 Oh, I am getting 0 0.609 0 0.609 For flip N is equal to 120 F by P. 120 F is frequency, 50 Hz by poles. I am using 4 poles induction motor, so 4. I am getting N S is 1500. So N S 1500 minus N. Third value N 1466 by 1500. Minus one one four six six divided by thousand five hundred zero point zero two. The value will always be lesser than one zero point zero two. Like this, do for all the readings. I have noted all the values. With this tabulation, we are going to draw a graph. With this value, if you draw a graph with x axis as efficiency, torque, power factor, slip, and ammeter value that is current, and with a x axis as power, we will get a, this graph. Please take a note of this. And then for the second graph, I am taking x axis as sorry, y axis as torque and x axis as speed. We will get a, this graph. With this two graphs, the experiment is completed.